Hey everyone, Elgato has just released the first official Stream Deck plugin for Zoom, and the Stream Deck is now a Zoom certified device. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, well, I've been using the Stream Deck for years to control Zoom. You just use hotkeys. Alt A is mute. This is better. It's using Zoom's APIs, so it's a real integration. First of all, that means it's a lot more responsive. It also means we get feedback. This works in both directions. So the mute button, it doesn't just change when I mute myself. If I mute myself in Zoom, let me show you here, it changes. If someone else mutes me in Zoom, if I'm muted when I join the Zoom meeting, I know because the indicator is right there. And you may be thinking, well, isn't it also right there? Can I see it on screen? This is better. Uh, things move around on screen. It might not be so obvious. This is in real life on my desk. And you can customize the buttons. So here's a, here's a, a custom profile. Look what happens if someone mutes me now. Yeah, you can make them animated. Now, if this was on your desktop, would you notice that you're muted? Would you have any trouble determining, I wonder if I'm muted or not? Yeah, okay. I would look down and I'm seeing I'm muted. And, and it's so easy to unmute yourself. Any of the buttons are the mute and unmute buttons. So yes, this is better. Okay, so mute's the obvious example, but it's not just a mute plugin. Uh, it also does screen share. I'm not going to do that now. Video mute raise hands, which I do use a lot, and the other react emojis. Oh, a quick pro tip. There's a leave meeting, end meeting button. I don't put it on my main page just so there's no possible way I can click it by accident. I just have it one page over. I like it, I use it, it's convenient, but just not on the main page. It's really easy to set up. Just open up your Stream Deck software, click the colorful icon to go to the Elgato Marketplace. You'll probably have to log in. It's a free account and search for Zoom. You should see something that looks like this. And where it says open in Stream Deck, it might say get. <laughs> Click get to get it. And then it should be there. Let me uh, move myself out of the way to show you. In your categories of different types of buttons, there should be one now for Zoom. And here are our Zoom buttons. So, oh, we didn't talk about record. Let's make a record button. I'll just drag it over. Look at the settings. I'll probably want to do cloud recordings. And I want the button to be start, stop, not start, pause. And that's it. I'm good to go. So you can see the different control options we have to start with. And if there's something else you want to do, the hotkeys still work. I'm probably going to make a hotkey button to switch between gallery view and speaker view. I use that a lot. And they might add a button to do that. The API supports that. Actually, if there's something you'd like to see Zoom and Elgato add, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to share it with them. All right, I hope that was helpful. And let me know how you're using the Zoom and Stream Deck. I want to see your profile. Share them with me. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.